Okay, so we are doing a live fading. And there's the mouse. I just put the baby back in there. He's in this rock right here. I'm hoping he eats tonight. He should eat every five to six days. I'm trying on day five. He's been putting his head out in the morning like he's hungry, trying to smell the last mouse we fed him. Let's see what happens. I am going to go probably turn on the light really quick. Try not to miss anything. Give that nice red glow off that fur. Mouse is just roaming around. He's going inside. He smelt the snake. Oh, he's ready. I just saw his mouth. He's poking out. The mouse is going to be stupid here soon. This might be a quick feeding, so I might just post this whole video. Don't go in there, mouse, because I'll fucking knock you out of there. Alright, he's going to go in there. Oh, he's right there. He's looking. Oh, okay, here we go. Hopefully this is it. Come on, go back to the rock. Oh, the mouse is smart. He's like, I will live another few minutes. Come on, get your little mouse ass over there. He needs to eat. And you have billions of you. It's okay to lose a couple. Oh, no. PETA's going to get mad. They can shove that up their ass. And yes, that will be in the video. PETA, fuck you and all you animal activists out there. You know what? Snakes eat rats and mice. Get the fuck over it. Hey, get off his fucking decoration. Oh, there's his head. He's sticking out. He's sticking out his head. He's curious. Here he comes. The mouse is going to fuck up. Get your little dumbass road. It's blurry. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why my phone sucks, but there he is, being patient, like most snakes do. He's ooh, the tongue flicker, yes. You smell your food in there. Oh, don't let him get your moss. Look at what he's doing. You see that? That mouse is destructive. Get off his moss, fool. Babe, pay attention. Here it comes, watch. Once he... Oh, it was close. He started to open his mouth a little bit. He's ready. See the S curled? And it's... And it's oh, I gotta stay still. But you can kind of see it. The mouse is going right there. He's going to see the mouse again. He sees the mouse. It's like I see the snake. I'm watching the snake, but I'm trying to show the mouse getting close there. There it is. There it is. There it is. And he got him. He fucking got him. Good boy. Fucking choke that little bastard. Choke him out. Choke him out. Good boy. Good boy. And you're so friendly to us. And loving. And you just had a good feeding experience five days ago he ate the mouse is going to struggle for a little bit i don't feel bad this is what happens in the wild the snake could also get damaged in the process he has a good hold of him he probably got a good little headshot he's pr i give the mouse another uh, 30 seconds he'll be constricted and i am going to put a warning before this video for all you little pansies out there that care about, oh, well, that's wrong. You should get thawed. Well, you know what? My snake doesn't want to eat fucking thawed. So get the fuck over it. He likes alive, and you're going to have to like it, and I don't care if you don't like it. How about that? And the fucking mouse is dead. Now, see, this is where some people were like, oh, the video's over. Oh, no. We're going to watch him eat the whole thing. Look at him just, bam, just choking that little bastard. I'm sorry, this is bad. I know my my wife's a little mad of the way I'm commentary, but it's okay. This is how they do it in the wild.
I'm just trying to bring that experience of hell yeah. Up, oh, he, he up, oh, got him right on the head, right on the head. Huh? Angry. He was angry. He's hungry. And there he goes. He's starting to swallow. What? Sorry for the shitty ass camera. Um, blurring in and out. Next time I'll film it off my wife's phone. She has a pretty cool phone. My phone's cheap because my dumbass likes to lose phones or I break them. They drop out of my pocket at work. Something stupid happens. And my wife was worried that this mouse right here was a little too big and he is a little too big but he is more fat than anything. So I'm not worried about it. And you can see the girth on that stomach he has right there. He's perfectly laid out. Not afraid to show it. He'll have no problem putting this mouse down. Sure? Oh yeah, I'm sure, baby. He's already had the he-, he has the head about a good quarter to almost halfway down. It looks like halfway down. And most people think like ball pythons have like these two teeth. No, they have anywhere from 25 to 40 teeth, anywhere around there. They say 25 to 35, but you never know. You know, if you might have a sorry got off angle but a few might have a few extra a few short so um i'd say anywhere from 20 to 50 little sh like teeth in there they have four on four rows on top two on the bottom i am so happy he's eating this means he's very happy he's been very well my wife and i were a little worried he ate last tuesday it's sunday now and uh we'll feed him again on friday and see how he does then i mean he's young so Seems to have good he has a yeah like she said he has a really good appetite this thing loves to eat lately well since we had him and he's never bit us he's always been tr like chill and calm and he just likes to he likes to be held actually he likes to be petted when you first pull him out he goes in that little ball state he tries to act like oh no but once you break him out of it, he's so chill. It'll allow you to touch him anywhere, his face, his tail. You could, you could, you know, you got to squeeze the head. The reason why is because, you know, after a while, it could be bad because he could have a respiratory infection if it's too high humidity in his tank. So you always want to squeeze the head here and there and see if little bubbles come out the side. If they do, then yes, he has a respiratory problem. You probably need to go get him checked out or lower the humidity. Um... But no, mine's good. He's good. And he's already has the body about a good quarter way down. And I, I love it. This is what they do in the wild. I can see that little ear popping out. Up. Oh, he took another further bite in. He's really good eater. I love him. He's amazing. Now... I want most people to know, you know, watching this, like, don't feel bad for the animal. Don't. Like, this is nature. And also, do not handle your python after feeding him. Give him, I, everyone says 24, you know, 48 hours. I'd go a whole 72 hours. So count, like, today is Sunday for me. He just ate. I'm going to say it's roughly, what, 10 o'clock almost. I probably won't pick him up till Thursday, 10 o'clock. I'll give him an extra day, go four days probably. And then... You know, re-pick him up, spend three, four days with him straight. I don't do that, oh, 15 minute a day bullshit. I do hold him for at least like two hours a day. It's not stressful for him. He's very calm with us. I could tell when he's starting to get stressed. And I'll put him back. But he has the mouse about a good quarter way now. dragging that thing over the reason why he does that is because he has to he no you know no legs no arms so he has to find a way of helping his mouth he's such a good little eater And we were just touching him, like no no more than a few minutes ago before he even fed. 
Uh, what happened, what we did was we spent about a good hour and a half, my wife and him, on the bed with us and allowing him to curl up next to us, climb up our arms, just being around him, spending time with him, showing him respect, and he likes it. And then I put him back in, I allowed him to check out his new home, and it took him three minutes, and he was like, I'm done, I'm going to my rock, leave me alone. And then I dropped the mouse in, and no more than five minutes of dropping that mouse in. I mean, yeah, it took a little time for him to get him, not, but less than seven minutes for sure, I know that. That's amazing. Like, he's a good eater, he's a good boy. I love it. He's having a little bit of a hard time putting this one down, it seems, but he's going to handle it. He has no no problem. His scales are stretching perfectly. He, I'm not worried about splitting. Um, I've done a lot of research. I've owned a bottle python in the past before, so I'm not too worried about him. Sorry, once again, my camera's a little blurry. It sucks. But let him look at him just go to that like just going to town just his mouth is so stretched open right now he definitely has the jaws dislocated he has body half down that's how I know he's gonna finish it off because he already has the hardest part away and that was from the chest the like chest uh, plate and the shoulders of the mouse the rest is pretty much just fat so he'll be able to squish it down no problem is a good eater and he's so good with my wife and that was like a huge thing for me I didn't want her to get scared of him and he's loving most people don't like snakes but people need to get the hell over that fear they're not bad you want to know a bad pet don't buy a tarantula that shit's stupid that's just in my opinion I mean I'm not against them I'm not gonna kill one to kill one but the fuck that I don't want that shit in my house a snake no they're not bad at all This one didn't squeak though. The last one squeaked for like three set, three squeaks and it was dead. This one actually didn't squeak at all. I think he did get the headshot. That's why he could not squeak. He did when we saw in the beginning. He had his mouth on the rodent's mouth. The rodent couldn't squeal that loud. And if it did try, it was too late because when he started to constrict, he just choked the life out of it. And he's finishing it off now. He only got his legs and tail to go. That is so happy for me. I am so happy that he did, like, he ate well. He was able to hold this mouse down, knowing that the next time we feed him, we could actually give him a three-week-year-old mouse. And honestly, he's only, like, a month old at most. Month, month, and a... I don't even think he's a month yet. I, I barely think he's a month at most. But he's holding that down. He's doing good. I'm very happy. This is not going to be edited at all. I'm going to give you how I give it to you. If you don't like it, please don't watch my videos. If you do like it, there will be more to come. You're not going to tell me how I can feed my fucking snake. I'm not going to tell you how to feed your damn dog. Okay? Okay. And there it goes. This is my favorite little part. Is All that's left is the tail. It's like spaghetti. That's a pretty big mouse, too. Like, in person to that snake, maybe on video, you're like, oh, no problem, but... And no, I don't want those stupid comments being like, oh, yeah, but you could have put a bigger one in there. You gotta understand, he's only a month old. His skills are easy to rip. You can't just put anything up in there. That's not how it works. He can only stretch his jaw. Yes, they dislocate it, but he can only do it so far. He can't do any further than what he can. So if you put a full-grown sized rat in there, the rat's going to fuck him up. It'll probably bite him and it's not going to be able to really do much. Because the rat will probably just keep continuing to attack and fight for its life. That's why right now he's good with mice. And there goes the spaghetti.
He sees me looking at him, so he doesn't like it right now because he's just got done eating. I'm not going to harm him, though. He knows it. He's about to open his mouth here any second to finish down that rat tail. There it goes. There it goes. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. And look at that growth now. Like, if you rewind the video now and, re and like, look at it now, his stomach is really fat. So now, even that I fed him and I love him, Two to three days of leaving him alone, starting now. Thank you for watching. No stupid comments. If you're against it, don't watch it. If you are against it and you're still right, guess what? Fuck you. But thank you for watching. For the people that do like it, there will be more to come. Thanks for watching.